Hey guys, and if <coughs> I got my throat. Hey guys, and if so and zero. Now, as you can see in between videos, I didn't do a lot, but I did get the field clear enough to actually start doing some crops and start earning some money. Because that is the end goal of the game. Earn all the money you can so you can screw over everyone in capitalism. And I just, because that would be amazing if that's what the game was about, but it's not. Instead, we need to, uh, basically grow, uh, grow crops so we can sell crops so we can make money so that way we can, uh, eventually afford better upgrades to our house and buy livestock and stuff. Oh yeah, that's something that took me forever to figure out. Uh, this this beehive right here. Any, like, not any, eh, every day you could come to this beehive and get a container of honey to, uh, sell. Which, I guess is kind of a cover your own ass mechanic, because, uh, it's always there. No matter what, even if it's raining, sunny, hurricane, it's still, you know, just perfectly safe to go get it. Well, actually, now I think about it, they kind of have to do that because if you, like, sell everything and, like, something screws up and you don't get any money, you do kind of need a, like, save your ass mechanics that way you don't just get fucked over. Let's see, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Hey, we're just in time. Okay. Now, honestly, any of these will grow, but the one thing I can't stress enough is this. Don't buy this. Because that is useless. You can't sell it for much. But these, the cucumber, potato, turnip, seeds and everything, those are what I would actually say get, but for right now, I'm just going to get turnip seeds. So that way we can uh, start generating some money, and I'm um, not necessarily get the most profit from it. Because <laughs> isn't it the same way with all these games where you grow and sell shit? You gotta always maximize your profit and cut however much it costs to actually make your product. Actually. I don't think you could get cheaper, we just spent only 500G and we're probably going to get a lot more than 500G. Oh, it's going to take time. Hey, do I already have everything I need? No. I don't have a hoe. Don't take that out of context. Gosh, ah, damn it, I wasted seeds. <laughs> the first of many seeds to be wasted in uh, this Let's Play, I'm willing to bet. Okay, many players may notice I'm doing something weird, but just follow me here. This is how you'll want to actually like do your... Uh... Oh, he's going to get the uh, honey I put in there. Uh, anyway, this is actually how you'll want to do your farming plots for the time being, because, uh, if you do them otherwise, you actually won't be able to reach all the crops and water them, and then, uh, the center one will die out. But that's for right now. That will change in the near future. Once we start getting upgrades to our stuff. But... Also, if you're wondering why I didn't move these logs, or I'd say log stumps, it's because you actually need a better axe before you can uh, start removing stumps. Woo! Oh yeah, that's something that's also a mechanic, is uh, just sometimes randomly you'll find money whenever you uh, till the ground, so that way you can actually plant crops. Shit. There we go. And it's almost nighttime. Which nothing bad happens at nighttime, it's just 
you know, nighttime and you usually need to go to bed because you're actually about to, like, pass out. Oh, yeah. And the, the music gets all creepy. Swoopy. I forgot about that. The music gets all, like, creepy when it comes nighttime. Do, 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 do. Okay. Here's betting I'm about to pass out because I ain't got food or anything. So remember when I first played Harvest Moon, I want to say on the SNES it was? Yeah, the SNES and uh... God damn was I ever confused on what the hell I was doing on that one. I'm actually kind of happy because in uh, this one, the GBA edition of it, uh, they actually made things a lot simpler. Or I say simpler, but not easy, but they made things, you know, easier to understand. Like, it's not some convoluted, crazy fucking process to uh, get the better tools and stuff. Anyhow, now that the crops are watered, now we need to go to bed before we pass out and die. Nope. Oh. Nope. <laughs> yes, sleep in the chest, Aaron. Sleep in the chest. Actually, I wonder if that would be really, like, comfortable if you weren't claustrophobic as just crawl into a chest and fall asleep. Oh yeah, by the way, uh, this is a mechanic I should show. Um... Uh, is that when you check the TV, you'll actually see what the weather will be tomorrow. And you can use your, uh, directional pad to, uh, you know, switch channels and get various odd tips and stuff. Okay, that, nope. <laughs> Not interested. I read touching nose to tongue and my brain was like, nope. <laughs> oh! Racist Chinese man! Just racist Chinese. Oh yeah, this guy is a merchant and he'll actually give you rare like items, but at the cost of a lot of gold. Uh, yeah, I got, I shouldn't be on my phone. <laughs> Currently collaborating with Dominic and things are not going good for commentary because of it. I am sorry. <laughs> I am sorry, my fellow Americans. <laughs> Why is it every time I think of addressing y'all, I just think of like, a president addressing the population. I mean, I know I'm not no president, but that's just what my brain goes to. Oh, missed. God, see, that's something that's going to suck in this LP. Is that there's probably going to be a lot of times I just absent mindedly just start humming the music. I actually, like I said in the first part, enjoy the hell out of this music. Do, do, do. <coughs> uh, I'm sorry, viewers. Uh, Y'all know how it is. You, you just start talking and eventually you get, uh, just, you know, phlegm in your throat and then everything goes south horribly as you try to cough the phlegm out of your throat. That was probably a disgusting description. I am sorry. <laughs> anyway, we're going to head back into the house here and get the hammer. I'm going to actually show the mines because... Uh, bleh. Because whenever you mine, you can get ores and use ores and such to actually upgrade your tools, and that's how you get the next level tools. 
Wait. I put... I think in the first part I put some grass in my bag. How do I pull that out? Because that's something I didn't think about. Okay, that's how. And uh, it wasn't grass, it was a rock. Ah! Uh, why is it when I try to record everyone in the world decides, hey, it's time to text Aaron? <laughs> oh, I guess cat's out of the bag, that's my name, Aaron. <laughs> I don't know why I say that's cat out of the bag. That's obviously not a cat. Oh, shit. <laughs> I'm still holding up, and I was like, freaking out that I was like doing that. Um, no, I want to throw. Throw. Throw the damn rock. How do I... I can't... Why can't I not throw the damn rock? Okay, there. Jeez. And now, once we get up here to the entrance to the mines, uh, I will end the video there and see you next time when I actually go in the mines and start mining. Ah, God, people are outside my room yelling. I hope that's not picking up on the mic. Anyways, this has been A&W, signing off.